Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing this cool, uh, these cool text effects um, using Auto Animate and if I click on this uh, first text uh, see how the pattern kind of moves along uh, that looks pretty cool and if I click on this uh, the confetti will also increase in size and it's a, let's see how it works, it's lovely and um, if I go to this third text, this is like a border animation, a morphing kind of an effect, which is pretty cool. And um, all this will be done in a very short amount of time. It requires only one single trick, which is masking. So without further ado, let's just get started. Firstly, I will switch to design mode and I will create a 1920 by 1080 artboard. This is the standard web artboard. You can use any size that you like. So here, I want to place some text, which will say Adobe XD. Uh, you really can't see this right now because it's white. Let's just change this color to say gray. And the font, font that I'm using is Helvetica Neue, which is uh, condensed bold. And at a size of, say, just increase the size like this. Perfect. Um, and rather than saying condensed bold, we want a little thicker, so condensed black. So black fonts are the thickest. Um, place this in the center of this artboard, just like that. And um, here what I want to do, I want to go to object and say path and convert to path. That's all, that was the entire trick, just kidding. So first what we're going to do for the first effect, let's create some triangles. So quickly go to the... Um, polygon tool right here let's select the polygon tool and create some small triangles nothing big just like that and uh, make sure this is uh, kind of a, a blue tint like this something like this that's perfect and I want to create something just right next to this which is uh, somewhat pinkish just like that perfect and I just want to rotate this just uh, like a 360 I guess that's no that's 180 degrees um, and just place it right next to each other so now uh, comes the trick where we have to repeat this and for that we will use the repeat grid so go ahead and uh, activate repeat grid for the blue uh, triangle first and we'll just drag it and move it along like this now remember these there should be no space so uh, make sure that these blue are close enough to each other about zero will do it and uh, we'll do the same for this pink one uh, so go ahead and say repeat grid and do the same thing for these pink triangles as well. Make sure they lock in with these blue triangles. Let me just adjust it just like that. Perfect. Just repeat it uh, until you know that you've covered the entire uh, area of text. And we'll also do this horizontally, not uh, sorry, vertically, not horizontally. So do this just like that and make sure there's no space again. Uh, between each of these so about zero will do again and for these pink ones we will repeat uh, just like this uh, vertically as well make sure this there's no space so you know they kind of fit into each other and just repeat it just like that perfect um, that's almost a perfect pattern that we've created and we will what we'll do is just say uh, ungroup grids for both of these and just group these together we don't want these to be grids anymore so ungroup the grid and just say command G to group all of these together and what I'll do is I'll select both of these and place it behind the text so go ahead and place it behind for that what we do is say command or control and uh, the curly brackets the left curly bracket and place it just behind this as you can see this is now behind this path which is the text and we'll select all three of these and say Command Shift M to mask them. So Command Shift M, there you go. Uh, I've masked it already. Uh, now this is the final effect. So what what do we do for the initial one? So just say um, Command D or just drag it out while holding Alt or Option. And um, here what we're going to do is we're going to first of all make sure that the pink is now about 45, say. 30% in opacity just like that and um, we will drag both of these out to the bottom first of all select both of these inside uh, this Adobe and make sure you've selected both 
and just move it down a little bit till the edge so that you know it's still there but it's um, you know towards the edge like this perfect and um, what we'll do here is we'll just drag it to the top try and drag it to the top and um, just like this and move it to the right a little bit so again it's at the edge like this perfect uh, now this should work perfectly you can obviously adjust the triangles whatever you like whatever way you want them to be adjusted you can do that and uh, go to prototype mode click on this arrow and just drag it to the second artboard say tap auto animate should always be on ease in out let's do ease in out and just let's just do three seconds um, I think that should do so if I go to the preview and I've, if I click on this Adobe XD see how it smoothly animates now uh, you can do it even better if you um, kind of move these triangles along individually so for example if I go in and just move these triangles individually like this see what kind of uh, you know pattern that I have this will be pretty awesome anyways right uh, it'll have like a slightly different effect and you know it they'll move individually see how they're spacing that's perfect that's that's the kind of transition that we want and see how these triangles can also play well with these uh, like uh, these bottom halves so this is pretty pretty cool so for the next effect we will just copy this over uh, remember if in Adobe XD you want to succeed uh, in creating good effects just know how to copy stuff that's that's my tip of the day so um, here inside here what we're going to do is we're going to actually add some confetti uh, for that let's first remove both of these layers of triangles both the pink and the blue and let this be here as it is and um, as you can see I can't really see the text but it's there so I'll double click uh, on that by clicking here and um, I'll just you know select this artboard what I'm gonna do is just gonna select this mask group and make sure that I'm selecting the path inside this path what I'm gonna do is because since it's a mask if I put anything inside it it'll just mask it automatically so I'm gonna put first of all a square right see how it's already masked it I put a square which is um, let's say a yellow like a like a warm yellow right uh, something like this and just uh, create maybe a triangle you know whatever you will see in a confetti um, just create a basic triangle using the polygon tool just like that and um, maybe move, make it like a like a red right like a red and make another which is um, you know a circle for that I can just increase the border radius of this triangle and say circle and um, you know make it maybe a blue or a purple perfect so we have our confetti which is ready just place it close to each other and uh, just select all three of these and go to the plugins panel thanks to Adobe XD's new plugins panel we can just quickly go to confetti because I can see the icon I didn't have to read it so um, configure your confetti so for this one what we're gonna do is we want about 24 by 24 you want a lot of confetti because I'll tell you in a second right and uh, we don't want to play with the opacity we will play with the rotation and with the scale right here and just say run right and see how it's just placed the confetti randomly and um, what I'm gonna do is quickly go to this say command D just copy it over now here what I want to do is just delete all of this <laughs> we just want the path and nothing else right so if I go in here and just copy this over and make sure that you've deleted all of these for that you can just say uh, select all these polygons on the left and just say delete that's it and here in here what I'm gonna do is um, place three of these as well so one two and three just pick any of these random ones and uh, place them inside this mask just like that and uh, here what I want to do is go to plugins again and say confetti and here I want to do the same thing but I'll make a small difference I'll make sure that the scale is much more so about 250 
uh, to about, I don't know, 350, or you can select whatever scale you want. We don't want to uh, fiddle with any other settings uh, to get the perfect effect. So if I click on Run, it'll take some take its time and see how it's just covered it up, right? And I like this a lot. I actually like this more than the original effect that I created. So, um, but there's a little problem. The polygons are named differently in both of these. And if you've been working with Adobe XD, you know everything has to be the same exact name in the layers panel for the uh, for the auto animate to work. So for this word, we, what we're going to do is simply do one thing: uh, make sure we select all of these polygons first of all in the first artboard. And we have a cool plugin which says rename it right here. So just say rename selected layers, and uh, say name sequence ascending so number sequence ascending we start from one right and just say rename so if you go back here you can see one two we've done till 576 right and we'll do the same thing with all of these right here so one to 576 we want here so we'll select all of these first go to the plugins panel right here and say rename it and say rename selected layers and again from starts from one and number sequence ascending so just say rename and if you go to the layers panel again see how it's renamed it to the same exact names that we had in this artboard that's a quick trick uh, for you to apply if you have more than say five or six uh, layers and I'll just drag this arrow in polygon uh, for the prototype and I'll say tap or animate and uh, ease in out we can do ease in out we can do snap whatever you like for three seconds uh, let's try this out so I click on this text, see how the confetti increases in size and it moves around a lot. The best part about this plugin, the confetti plugin is that it changes positions, sizes, rotation, everything uh, in the effects. Uh, you can increase the timing also to make it a little more appealing or make it a little slower if you want, if that's what you're going for. And see how it just eases and eases out the effect. This is pretty cool. Now the last one is one of my favorites because I kind of stumbled upon it, I just thought of it and I just started making it. So we'll just copy this again. Remember, copying is essential. So just copy this over here below this and this artboard is copied as it is. Now what I have to do is I will first of all select all of these confettis and make sure that there's no confetti left. So from bottom to top or top to bottom, whatever you like, uh, till number one, right? And just say delete. So now you just have this uh, mask, which is the text right here. So what we'll do is inside this text, inside this mask, what we'll do is place some triangles. So for that, we want the polygon tool. So quickly just create triangles with the polygon tool and make sure that this triangle is say uh, slightly blue, like a blue, like a, like a strong blue actually, something like that, right? Uh, like a purplish blue and um, we, we want to strategically place it around the edges like this. So, for example, I'll, I'll place one here and I'll place one here. You know, uh, do the same for all of these. I'll place one here on uh, bottom of the D and on the top of the D, the inner portion of the D. Uh, for O, I'll just place it in the mid, uh, at the top again, and uh, one at the bottom right here. And we won't rotate it or anything. We just want to place it like this. So, one maybe inside here and one maybe uh, inside here or something like that and uh, on the E we can do one here and I don't know one here and uh, for the X we can do one here what the effect lies in the placement so if you're being able to place it correctly um, the entire effect will work pretty smooth so now that we've placed it it looks weird but uh, I'm gonna in a sh moment show you how to make the effect come true right so if I double click here and just duplicate this. Okay, so um, if I, in the second artboard, I will just expand these and make sure that the border radius, which is right here is 100 or the curve is 100 so that it becomes a circle. We want this to basically morph into a circle. That is how we get the morphing effect. And I'll just make sure this covers somewhat of half of this E. And here also I'm gonna do the exact same thing and uh, just keep on doing this so 100 make sure everything is 100 here and just make sure that it covers while keeping the similar position so if it's at the bottom don't make sure it's not at the top 
when it uh, uh, becomes bigger, right? So you want to make sure something like that, right? And just place it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's there and you can see the E, right? And we'll do the same for all of these. Um, as you can see, some might even overlap, but that's fine. We'll do the same for all of these and expand all of these together. So I'll cut to that so that you guys can see the final uh, true effect in place. Okay, so I've done the whole task for you. It took me a couple, uh, about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. And now all the circles have been increased. They don't have to be perfect circles, just rounded uh, polygons will do. And as you can see, most of them are covering half of this, some are covering quarter of this. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it should work, right? So if I go to this first one and if I prototype, quickly just prototype it to the next artboard and say ease in out, four seconds, we can go for four seconds or uh, say three seconds, whatever you like, and it should be set to auto animate. One last thing that we need to do is put text over this so as to give an effect that, uh, you know, it's just a border being animated, which is pretty cool. So let's just say Adobe XD once again, just as plain text, and make sure this is now condensed uh, bold. Again, bold is slightly uh, thinner than uh, the black, right? So again, make sure that these are aligned from Adobe to XD, all these, and these are aligned from the bottom as well. Make sure this gray, it's not gray, it's white. It should be white, just like this, right? As you can see, it's pretty cool already. I'll just copy this over onto this artboard and it'll just shift automatically to the actual area. So if I click on prototype view or the preview, if I click on this text, see how it morphs into this Adobe XD. I pretty, I think it's pretty awesome. I love it. I hope you loved it too. Okay guys, that is the video. I post every Thursday and every Monday. So stay tuned for my videos. Uh, to get updates, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you can get my updates first before everyone else. So I'll see you in the next video. God bless.